Well, welcome to the latest edition of the Buyer's Guide. In this edition, we're going to be looking at a relatively new mix. It's by a relatively new brand that I know isn't widely known about all over the country. This brand was brought to my attention a few months ago, but it was mainly by some northern anglers. But since then, it's actually spread now so that these ground baits can be found at stockists all over the country. The mix that we're going to be looking at tonight is a mix from Evolved Baits and this particular mix that we're looking at is the one that's known as Big River. Evolve Baits is a company now that's got quite a few ground baits in their range. The driving force behind the company, according to the company website, is Andy Dixon, and they've got quite a few sponsored anglers now up and down the country. One of the anglers that is on board is Des Taylor, that a lot of you will already know. Now this particular mix has been developed and the idea really was about creating a mix, a cereal based mix that is designed for use on rivers. So before we go into all that about the ingredients and that sort of thing, let's have a look at the packaging and let's just see what it tells us about the mix. Well there we go, we can see the Evolve logo, um, it's clear packaging, um, so obviously that means you can see the mix really really nice and clearly. Basically on here it's telling us it's a rich and versatile, perfect consistent mix, easy to mix and use, perfect for still and flowing waters. Okay, there are four names there, there's a river and drain uh, mix, there's an Irish gold, canal, black, but this particular one we're looking at is the big river. Now you can see it, it's a, a light coloured mix, it looks quite coarse as though there's quite a bit of feed in there. Let's just flip the bag over, see what it says on the back. So on the back we've just got a main sticker which really just telling you a little bit about the company and the ingredients as regards they're all um, natural ingredient, ingredients so they obviously all adhere to the current um, environmental legislation which bait companies obviously have to adhere to. Um, a little bit of information there about the best way to store these mixers. There's the registered address for Evolved Baits, but these ground baits are available up and down the country. There is a list of stockists, which I'll tell you about at the end of the video. And their registered website, so if you want more information about the mixers, about the company and all that sort of thing. And there are features on there as well, video features I believe. Uh, it's evolvedbaits.co.uk. Okay, so I'm getting, as you can see this bag's already open and I'm getting some strong smells of uh, of, of hemp and almost a little bit of a crummy smell as well so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to mix up and I'll be able to tell you a little bit about the ingredients what go into this mix. The website actually does state that this is a hemp rich mix okay so as you can see there's quite a bit of feed in there and that's exactly what this mix is all about it's a big river mix and it's designed for having feed and I'm assuming it's going to be it's going to bind well as well because obviously on rivers a lot of the time you're feeding balls of ground bait as well getting quite a, a, it's quite a strong smell of hemp, um, it's a little bit of a cereal, crummy type of um, smell as well um, and like I say this is not a fish meal mix, it is a cereal based mix so there's no fish meal in here, okay so let's get some water in and see how it's going to mix, sometimes mixes like this take quite a bit of mixing purely because there's so much feed in there that you want to give the mix plenty of time and for those bigger particles to absorb water so quite often with mixes like this you've got to give them a little bit longer to, to rest sometimes you might even want to mix them the night before just to make sure that all the feed that's in here is going to be nice and absorbed and obviously isn't going to float which is not what we want now that's really coming, that smell of hemp now is really coming through when it's it's making the, uh, the bit of feed in here a little bit more evident now. Now I'm not mixing it with a drill, I've never um, mixed these ground baits in these tests um, with a drill because I know most people don't use one, but you can see the mix there, loads of feed in there. Now this is going to take more water already, I, um, I'm going to be able to tell you that right away. I'm going to add a little bit now, when you wet it like that you can really see those bits of hemp in there. Now the other ingredients that there are in here uh, like I said they are cereal based, it's a cereal based mix so that's you know it's not fish meal um, there's some high oil crushed hemp in here as well I actually know that and there's also oyster shell 
and you'll see all these little bits of elements where if you look at it really closely there is oyster shell in there and I can tell this is going to bind all right I think not too lumpy as you can see I've mixed that with my hand not too many lumps in there very few actually so what I'm going to do I'm not going to add any more at this stage just like as with all the ground mates in this series I'm going to give this exactly 20 minutes just to give you a nice guideline um, of whether you need to give it longer than that because we're going to see how it's going to perform in the tank once we've uh, finished mixing it well that's been exactly 20 minutes I've had to add a little bit of extra water in I've put it through a sieve but not a really fine sieve and that looks ideal to use exactly how it is now um, you can see those bits of hemp in there if I flatten it off it'll be easier for you to see but all that hemp in there um, there's the oyster um, oyster shell in there as well but as you can see you know it is a feed a feed mix basically um, but like I say the more I've wet it the more I can smell it's almost like a crummy bread crummy kind of smell but obviously with the hemp as well so that's that's great I think that's going to bind really well yeah that's that's great no problem you could feed that in balls of ground bait in the faster flowing rivers according to the website it is designed for some of the faster flowing rivers like the river Trent and the Wye but uh, depending on how you mix it you can obviously use this on still waters as well but that binds really well you can see that okay what we'll do is let me just add some extra water and let's see if we can actually over wet it I mean this is not something that you probably use this mix for anyway certainly on a with a river mix you really want your, your bait and your ground bait to get down onto the bottom but it is nice to just try this out just to see how flexible these mixers are there we go and that's allowed you to over wet it simple so you can over wet it so if you wanted to feed it as a slop I suppose if you were fishing with bread um, on, a, on a river or even a canal this sort of mix could probably help you you know catch fish that way as well because sometimes when you're fishing with bread punch and, and bread you might be putting hemp in as well and this a sloppy cloud or a sloppy wet mix over the top of that um, I know that that works well for roach but fish like chub as well so so we can over wet it that's great um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a cage feeder and we're going to try it in the tank and just see how it performs. Like I say, this, is a, this has been rested exactly 20 minutes. Usually with high feed uh, mixers like this or mixers with more feed in, you might want to give them a little bit longer to rest. But this has been 20 minutes, so I'm going to try it with a cage feeder and let's see how it performs underwater. Now, as with all these tests, all I've got is a nice large fine wire cage feeder and I'm going to pack this into medium consistency okay so if I was on a still water or well any venue really if I was going to cast about 40 to 50 meters this is the sort of consistency that I would um, pack the bait into the feeder okay so that's going to give us a nice benchmark a nice idea of what you know how long it will take to break down in the tank under a medium sort of pressure so let's get in the tank and see how it breaks down Just move that so it's sideways onto the camera so there we go straight away you can see there's no cloud coming off there there are some well one or two particles coming up towards the surface but like I said this has only been 20 minutes if I was going to fish with this mix then I would definitely give it longer than that even if you mix it as soon as you get to your peg um, then that way it's usually going to get at least an hour just to rest just so it can soak in all those bits but to be fair there's not that much coming off it there is a little bit of activity that must be the, the, the hemp in there as well but there is a little, little bit of activity there's a little bit gone to the top but very very little very little to say it's only had 20 minutes we're just breaking down from the edges as normal it looks like it's expanding a little bit if you look where it's just kind of expanding through the mesh of the feeder it's not just broken away from it it is taking on water and expanding it's quite a little bit of activity coming off it and going up but that's quite nice it's not too active it's not a dry mix as such it's not a dry mix so it's it is quite inert and I can see why this would be good on big rivers because it's just got that got that binding that, that you know even when you're fishing with a feeder you know you can fish with a, a cage feeder on rivers even the faster flowing rivers if your mix is right you know a lot of the time if your mix is wrong then you might have to use a plastic a solid feeder just to make sure your feeder is emptying on the bottom all right but if your mix is right then that's when you can get away with cage feeders but that's it that's just, I don't think that's going to change much at all I will let the camera continue a little bit longer while I'm talking because it'll be interesting to see if that breaks down any more than what it has been I mean it must be coming up to two minutes now 
and I think that's going to stay exactly where it is. I, I don't think that's going to break down even more or spread out more. But that's that's just about, I think that's just about finished. That's just about finished. And I can see, you know, I can see why it's been designed the way that it's been designed for that reason. But that's really interesting. It's, um, there's a lot of hemp in here, as you can see. And they're obviously the key flex that you can see in the tank. What I'll do now is I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, disturb it slightly before I break, take the feeder out. I don't normally do this, but I'm just going to disturb it slightly just to see if it creates any sort of a, of a cloud or anything. No, not really. No, that's good. No, it's just spread the feed out a little bit. That's all, but it's not really gone cloudy or anything like that. I just wanted to try that before I, I brought the feeder out. So if I take the feeder out now, this will give us a good idea as regards where it's going to kick off, whether it's a cloud or, or whether it's just going to quickly settle back on the bottom. Big initial cloud, high up in the water, but that looks like it's settling pretty quick. Yeah, that's settling really quick. There's a little bit of a cloud there, but that the, the particles have gone straight back down again. If I show you from above, You'll see some of those dry particles, but like I say, it's only been 20 minutes. You would need to give this mix a bit, little bit longer. There aren't many on the top at all, but you can see the main bulk of it has gone straight down to the bottom and settled again. If you look at it sideways on, it might give you a better idea of how few bits have actually floated or just gone to the surface. There we go. But it is, it, I mean, it, and it's pretty much stayed exactly where it is on the bottom. It's not spread out like some of the other mixers, and that's because of them heavier bits of feed what's in there. And that's why it's designed for big rivers. A very interesting mix. Um, I haven't used a mix like this for a long time. Um, I think it's worth pointing out that whilst this is quite a light brown colour, the company, Evolve Baits, actually listened to feedback from customers and they actually developed and have now developed a dark version of this as well so if you're into your dark mixes or you want a mix that's probably more suited for clearer water even if it's just for your personal preference and confidence then there is a dark version of this now these ground baits are available in two different size bags you've got the 900 gram bag and you've also got the option of a five kilo bag as well now the 900 gram bag uh, retails at £3.99 which is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other mixes that are out there and the 5 kilo bag is £18.99 so that might work out a little bit more economical for you certainly if you're having them sent out if you're having them sent on a carrier or if you can't get into one of the stockists now there are stockists all over the country and they are all listed on the evolved baits .co.uk website so if you go to that website that will tell you where all those tattle shops are and they're spread throughout the country but it's a really interesting mix it's the kind of mix that I like to experiment with my, in my own time when I go out on the banks and and the, the kind of thing that I like to experiment with on my other video channel patron TV so you know it's just great to experiment with mixers well, I hope you've enjoyed this bit of an, uh, this edition. It's been something different. Um, if you don't want to miss any more of these videos and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up just there. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you want to have a look at my other channel, there's the link just there, Patreon TV. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.